I'm sure you've experienced at least a few times in life when someone comes and says, oh, you, you must be this person's son or daughter. And um, usually they're right. Why? Because we resonate, uh, right? Uh, our parents, I don't know, maybe you speak like dad or the way you walk reminds of your mom. And just we have this tendency of copying, imitating, growing up and somehow representing when they're not around the people that we've looked up to. And that is normal. That's perfect. That's how it is. I tell you how many times someone comes on, can come and say, hey, just the way you walk reminds me of, I don't know, of your dad. Are you this person's son? And I'm, I'm telling you, usually they're right. Or the way I talk, the way... Anyways. And then I thought, well, how about my Heavenly Father? How about my God? So when you look at me, uh, I don't know, speaking or making decisions, talking, behaving, right? Do I remind you of, of God? As crazy as that question sounds like, do we remind those around us, our Heavenly Father? You know, there's a Bible scripture I want to read it for you. It's from the Gospel of John, chapter 14, verses 7 to 11. Hear this. If you had known me, says Jesus, you would have known my Father also. And from now on, you know him and have seen him. Philip said to him, Lord, show us the Father, and it is sufficient for us. Jesus said to him, Have I been with you so long, and yet you have not known me, Philip? He who has seen me has seen the Father. So how can you say, show us the Father? Do you not believe that I am in the Father and the Father in me? The words that I speak to you, I do not speak of my own authority, but the Father who dwells in me does the work. Believe me, that I am in the Father and the Father in me. Or else, believe me for the sake of the work that works themselves. A clear message that Jesus gives to Philip and many of us who act like Philip and we say, I wish Jesus was physically here today. I wish we could, there are a list of wishes where you're saying, if I had seen this, I would believe. If I hear God speaking this way, I would believe. Well, Jesus says, listen, I am in he, he is in me. Later, that same command is sent to us that we are to be in him. And so we are that silent reminder, clear evidence of God's existence. That's who we are. We are the greatest testimony to the world that our God is alive. So when someone looks at you, hears you speak, the way you move, the way you, you interact with others, your relationships, everything must remind them of God the Father. He says, I am in He, He's in me. That is the re relationship that has been challenged to all of us to be in Him, so God will be in us. We have the indwelling of the Holy Spirit. We move through the Spirit. We have the power of the Holy Spirit. We are empowered Christians. And then at the end says, look, believe me for the sake of the works themselves. So if nothing else, if you don't hear my words, if you don't believe my words that God is real, that God is alive, okay, at least believe looking at my words. Look how I do things. Look how I conduct my lifestyle. Who I am. Do you see what I'm saying? We are, you and I, we are those silent reminders that God is alive. God is real. God is still working. And everyone is a potential to be a son and a daughter of the living God. A lot of it, trust me, depends on our testimony. So my challenge to you is that we go and become that testimony of being silent reminders of God. God bless you.